Uh, we've got an ACC showdown in Chapel Hill where the North Carolina Tar Heels welcome in the Pitt Panthers to Keenan Stadium. This one's a noon Eastern kick on ESPN2. Pitt right now a three-point road favorite at BetUS. The money line is North Carolina plus 125 if you like the dog outright. Total is 64 and a half on this. We've got an implied score around 34 to 31. Now, North Carolina won 41 to 24 at Pitt last year as a seven-point favorite. They have won outright eight of the past 10 meetings, and they've covered seven of them. Now, Pitt is a good spot for them. 14-4 and four against the spread in their last 18 as a road favorite. Narduzzi knows what to do in this role. North Carolina is 6-2 and two against the spread in their last eight as a home dog, but they haven't been in this role since the 2020 season when they failed to cover as a 4.5-point home dog to Notre Dame back then. Parker, let's start with you here. This Mac Brown season has been quite the roller coaster, I, I would say. What, what do you see happening here? Yeah, this is, um, I mean, again, you, you can't say enough about, you know, Max Johnson getting hurt and what that does. But I, I come back to, should you really be an injured quarterback away from this? Uh, and, and you know, <laughs> blowing that lead at Duke and getting absolutely run out by James Madison. Um, not a super impressive uh, team from from North Carolina here at, at all on, on, on my end. I have them you know, down to 55th in EPA per play margin. Pitt is 39th overall. Pitt's slinging the ball on offense and bolstered by a solid run game, even as Eli Holstein is, uh, you know, pretty pretty talented. Uh, their rush game is sixth in EPA per play. I think they'll overwhelm this defense. Uh, Pitt's defense has been fine against the rush, but their dropback game leaves a lot to be desired. So insofar as that gives, you know, North Carolina a little bit of leeway, uh, maybe there's something there. But, man, I don't like this one at all. I've got this by about a pit by about a point and a half. I don't trust North Carolina farther than I could throw their entire 85-man roster. Uh, what do you guys think about this game? Uh, look, can you? I, I, don't, I can't trust either team really. But I'm going to trust one of them, right? North Carolina has lost two straight in just really different ways. Last week at Duke was excruciating. North Carolina has played five straight weeks. They've got Pitt this week, and then they host Georgia Tech next week. So no buys until week eight for them. Uh, Pitt had a buy last week, and they smoked Youngstown, or Youngstown State the week prior. So really, they've had like two weeks to prep for this. Pitt's offense is number 18 in PPA for rush. They should be able to run all over North Carolina's rushing defense. They've ranked number 80. And PPA allowed per rush. North Carolina is number 105 in offensive line yards allowed. That is a disaster against a Nard Dog team. I think the line is way too short. I think Pitt should be favored by close to a touchdown. Uh, so I'll go ahead and lock that one in here for the show. I'll lay the three with Pitt. Uh, but Kyle, you know, talk to me about talk to me about you. What's your handicap on this one? Third in the nation in tempo, UNC 24th. Fast pace, back and forth. Total reflects that certainly. Complete heartbreaker last week for UNC, guys. You have to get up after you lose and give up 70 points to James Madison. Then you're up 20 nothing. then lose to your rival. I could not trust UNC to get off the mat again here. I feel like last week they, they did a good job getting up, but then it just all went away. Um, Pitt, like you said, could get ready for this game for a while. Well, North Carolina has been getting heartbroken two weeks in a row. Uh Red zone, really important in this game. Pitt, 15 touchdowns and 18 trips into the red zone. That's excellent. Uh, UNC has allowed 11 touchdowns on 16 trips into the red zone. Uh, people finishing drives against them. Pitt's secondary, a bit of a weakness. 86 and QBR allowed. Uh, UNC can probably score some points here in a high possession game. But, you know, I mean, you say UNC's defensive line giving up a lot in the run game. But, I mean, they're bad against the pass, too. They're just a bad defense in general. Um, Pitt is 15th in QBR on offense. UNC QBR allowed is 94th. I, I think that Pitt will score a lot of points here. I think they'll be cashing in with uh, touchdowns instead of field goals. Um, North Carolina has allowed seven passing plays of 40 yards or more. So a lot of busted coverages, big plays. Pitt's going to take shots downfield. I think they're going to connect on some of those. So I'll take the Pitt team total over in this one. Look at Kyle trusting old Eli Holstein, right? Kyle is going to go over the Pitt team total 33 and a half. And, uh, and I am laying the three with Pitt. I, I trust Narduzzi. I think this Pitt team is really good, really good. And like Kyle said, how many times can North Carolina get off the mat? That's, that's the question here.